shorts are all the rage, so I've started to get into those, but don't worry, you won't be seeing me in any. But seeing as I've been doing this for a couple of years now, about time I gave you the benefit of my experience. So the shorts are just teasers, and hopefully if you're seriously interested in building Cafe Racer, uh, you'll be tuning into this series. So first up, and probably f most importantly, what to avoid, what to resist in terms of temptation. Yes, it's all too easy to fall for the, well, it was cheap. It's nearly finished. All I've got to do is sort out the electrics. The motor. It's, it's interesting. Yes, there's a lot of traps and pitfalls to fall into. So let's take a look at what to avoid. And don't worry, this is all from personal experience. I've done them all. Number one. Ram when parked. Yes. And this is the prime example. Uh, Yamaha R6 2003. Nice bike. Picked it up late in the evening. Difficult to tell what kind of condition it was really in. Seems too good to be true for a thousand bucks. Yeah, we'll come on to that later. Anyway, I soldiered on and actually it started taking shape and it looked pretty good and then something else cropped up and that's an entirely other episode so, and to be honest this honda cb750 1978 uh single overhead cam same kind of deal the kid couldn't get it started when i turned up i believed that he could if he hadn't flooded it i brought it home we weren't able to get it started and that's resulted in having to invest in an entirely new set of carburetors. So unless that's your forte, unless you are a mechanical genius that can get things running again, if you don't see it running and it's not running well when you go to buy it, just forget it. Forget it. Move on. There's plenty of projects out there. Number two, part finished projects. Yeah. Uh, again, here's mine. Another CB750. Mm, we'll come on to that later in what to buy. But anyway, kids started the project, kind of got bored, started hooking up the electrics again, didn't fire up. But this was too good to pass up and we'll come on to that later as well. But mainly the exhaust system on this is worth more than half what I paid for it. So Again, that's where experience comes into play. And actually, the other Honda, the 1978, was a prime example of that in that it had actually been put together by a shop and quite badly done, I have to say. I'm not going to name any names. But that meant that nothing tied up with anything in terms of wiring diagrams or anything else because it had already been customised. And I had to work out what the hell they'd done with various bits and pieces uh, before even beginning to start on the project. Number three. Because it was a bargain. Well, yes, this one was. Like I said, <laughs> I paid 800 bucks for this CB750. And the exhaust system alone is worth 400 and something. The battery on it is worth 200. It's an anti-gravity doofer. Uh, the bits I swapped out on the forks were worth uh, another 400 bucks, and that's another episode. Yes, indeed, folks, recycling, uh, reselling uh, parts that you strip off the bike that you're about to build. But yes, back on point, uh, just because it seems too good to be true, it probably isn't. And last but not least, Exotica. Yeah. And again, words of experience. I started with an MV Augusta. I just happened to have it in my garage already. It had already been trashed, as you can see behind me. I dropped it. And that's where I started. But of course, parts are expensive if you need to replace actual genuine MV Augusta parts. My second project was a Ducati Monster. Uh, slightly more sensible, I have to say. Parts for these are a little bit more reasonable and easy to find. They're easy to work on. Likewise, Triumph's my daily driver, if you like. Uh, I barely get out on it, but is a speed triple. And uh, great bike, easy to work on, plenty of bits and pieces out there for it. So that's probably the least fatal mistake to make. But those are the big things to avoid.
Next time around, we're going to be looking at what you should buy. I hope you found the video interesting, useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you like what you see and you want to learn more, then subscribe down here somewhere. And of course, encourage others to watch my lunacy.